In this video, I'm going to start a journey with you about opening the door for knowing exactly what to do to optimize your connective tissue functionality and especially your bone health in the second half of life. Come with me. When it comes to enjoying your functional quality of life and all the things you love to do and even want to improve with age, there's not many more things more important than your connective tissue health. And at the center of your connective tissue health, of course, you have your bones. Not necessarily the initiating factor for connective tissue health, but it's at the center. And when you age, of course, you know that you become at risk of losing bone density. Some people develop osteopenia, which is the beginning of bone density decrease, or even osteoporosis, which is further development of bone density loss. You may have wondered, what exactly is bone density anyway? What determines your bone density? And most importantly, how do you optimize your bone density as you age, preventing yourself from becoming feeble and losing functionality as you chronically age? Well, one thing that's really become apparent to our fitness doctor team is there's a lot of myths and misconceptions about bone density and what you should and shouldn't do to expose yourself to risk and optimize your fitness regarding bone density. What we've found for people with low bone density and those concerned about low bone density is other medical experts that don't necessarily specialize in exercise but know quite a bit about the body give advice that makes you really scared about doing the exact type of things, the exact type of functions that are required to optimize your bone density with exercise to build stronger connective tissues. They, and maybe even you, have been told things like, don't squat, don't do a crunch from the floor, don't do a lunge, don't lift more than 10 pounds because you have low bone density. And all those, those things may be partially true, that's actually horrible advice if you take it to the nth degree because those are some things that are the exact things you need to do to optimize your bone density. And by increasing your can't do list, you're going to decrease the amount of healthy stress that's placed on your body, therefore putting you at an increased risk for bone density, the exact thing that you and your other medical professionals may be concerned about for you to begin with. The one thing I will say about keeping you safe before we go forward into how to really optimize is making sure you're a, not a risk for falls because falls are the number one thing that threaten those with low bone density, whether it be osteopenia or osteoporosis. So we do want to really optimize your balance and protect your environmental safety from falls. That is definitely the number one thing you absolutely should be concerned for and protect your daily life from. I'm with you. All of this can become a totally confusing, tangled web of mess. You're darned if you do, and you're darned if you don't. So how do you progress and keep yourself safe, but yet truly get yourself to be the fittest you've ever been in the second half of life? Well, if you attend the next Full Body Fix coaching show, I'm going to teach you that exact answer along with my clinical director, which is one of the most elite physiology experts on exercise and anti-aging therapeutic fitness. I want you to attend, come connect with me and my team. We're going to have an amazing experience together. We're going to give you a really great, insightful presentation, and then we'll open up the Q&A where we have some wonderful connecting conversations that take all of this tangled web of mess about bone density and create a ton of clarity for you. And now, here's the best decision you could make for today. Click the link on this page to join us for that Full Body Fix coaching show, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Lots of love.